Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zillow Tech, and I wanted to show you Airport or the Airport Router Setup or Apple Router Setup. So here's the Airport Utility, and in the Airport Utility, what we'll see is my home network. So let me go ahead and open this. And the reason I'm showing this, if you didn't see the other video, is we took a look at the new Airport Express. It looks like an Apple TV. You can see it right there. It's a great little device. Now, originally I had a time capsule. This is the original time capsule, 500 gigabyte. I have some other things on my network too, but this is the basic setup to my network. Here I have my Airport Express. It's actually acting as the main router now. If I tap on it, you can see that I can go into my Airport Express settings and I can enter the password, go into that. Here you can see these are my IP address, my LAN IP address, my version of software, network, hardware info. If I go into the network, you can see the security settings that I have set up, the different bands or channels. If I go back, we can go to hardware info and we've got all our information there. What you want to do is hit edit and this will show you the network itself. So the network itself is set up pretty simply. Now, a lot of people were very disappointed, including myself, when Apple changed the airport setup. And the reason is, is they seem to have oversimplified things, but they really haven't. It's, it takes some time to get used to and does a lot of things for you that you used to have to do yourself. So here's the internet connection. You can see you can set all these things and you can set it up yourself or just let it do it itself and I prefer its own method there's my base station password so there's two passwords there's one for the base station or the router and there's one for your SSID itself so here we have a guest network option we can turn on a guest network it will allow others to come over so say you have your friends over you can leave that network open or you can put a simple password on it and those friends will not have access to your main network here you can see there's AirPlay, which is great if you have an AirPlay device, plays music across it. And then we have some advanced options, Wi-Fi settings, IPv6, Apple has long supported IPv6, and we have a lot of different things here. Now the great thing about Airport is the way they set up themselves. This is an extension of my main network. It's the exact same thing, gives a good connection, it tells you the connection strength. It actually, this is a switching router, which means it will support B, G, and N, but all of those bands simultaneously. So what, what that means is my iPad is an N device. If I have a G device, it won't slow down like the time capsule will. The original time capsule was not dual band, so it would slow down to the slower connection and use that frequency as well. So we run into some issues there, but basically we've extended the network seamlessly. So what I wanted to do is show you how that works. What I'll do is I'll reset my time capsule. It actually won't wipe my data, but it will reset the settings and we'll come back and I'll show you how that's set up and how simple this really is. Now you can see the time capsule itself has gone away, kind of is faded out there. Let's go back home and what we'll do is we'll go to the Wi-Fi settings and it will find the time capsule. So if I go over here, I go to Wi-Fi, here it says set up an airport base station. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to set up Wi-Fi. This could be when you have no Wi-Fi. It just finds it. Tap on it. It's going to give us a couple options. So it saw the time capsule. It's reading its settings. And it says, what do you want to do? You want to extend the network or other options? In this case, I just want to extend my network. I want to give better coverage. Now, mind you, this time capsule is wirelessly extending my network. I only have the power cable plugged into it. It grabs the signal off the base station and extends it wirelessly. Now, you will lose some speed in turn based on that, but it's really not too noticeable unless you're doing really heavy-duty file transfer. In that case, I would suggest extending it with an Ethernet cable. But for my purposes, I don't need that. So what I'm going to do is hit next or here. We can go to other options, uh, but in this case, I want to do next. I'm going to keep it the same name next. And what it's going to do is set it up all its own. Now, if I was to get another airport express, another time capsule, I could do the exact same thing, or I could create a separate network. But a lot of the time to do that, you actually have to give it an ethernet cable for an internet connection. So it's waiting for the time capsule. What it does is it updates it, restarts it with the settings. I can hear it spinning up now. I can hear the hard drive and we'll wait for it to come back online. It's come back up online. I'll hit done. And now what I'll do is I'll go back over to my airport utility 
and you can see it's return. It's got a green light status and we're back and running. Incredibly simple network setup. There are a lot of options. You can do port forwarding. Uh, it does not have UPnP, but that's not really a bad thing. There's no port forward or there is port forwarding and it really is very easy to set all of this up. It's, it's a great, great setup. I know some people aren't a big fan of their routers, but uh, they're pretty decent routers if you look up some information on them and what they're capable of. And they give pretty good coverage as well. So if any of you have used these, if you've extended your network using these, uh, let me know your network setup. I know some people have a ton of routers set up. I've, I've set up larger networks with these as well. Uh, leave that in the comments below. Let me know what you've done. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.